first time we've ever hatched epaulette sharks here. They come from an egg, which a lot of sharks give live birth, but the epaulettes lay eggs. And in our case, 130 days later, they were ready to come out. So a week ago, we, we hatched one male, and today we hatched a male and a female pup. They were all three from the same day, but these hatched a week later. The egg case is a leathery little pouch, um, also called a mermaid's purse, that the females will stick it onto rocks or amongst coral uh, to hide it a little bit. Many fish like to eat them, so they, they kind of hide them, they blend in well, they're camouflaged. In our instance, we take them out of the exhibit so that they can develop in a safe place. But a lot of times in captivity, they don't have the signals that they'll get in the wild telling them when it's time to come out of their egg. So through candling and peeking through the open end of the egg, we were able to know that they were ready before they did. So we let them out and they're fat and looking good and ready to go. They're gonna hunt on their own and, and find food to eat. They'll eat you know, worms and crabs and small fish. They're known as the walking shark because they often walk on their fins. If there's a threat or they need to go somewhere in a hurry, they will swim, but generally they get around walking on their fins. In Australia, they're, they're fairly prevalent. Uh, they're not really threatened. Um, we just you know, wanted to have them reproducing in captivity. Anytime you can have a captive bred animal instead of taking one out of the wild is definitely a good thing.